The only thing I don't live in denial of is the fact that I live my life in denial. As a child, I had one true hero. His name was Roberto Clemente. He played right field for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and he was an amazing player. He had a gift with a glove, a cannon for an arm, and he could bat the stitches off the ball. He was like an ebony god to me. On New Year's Eve of 1972, Roberto got on a plane in Puerto Rico. He was taking food and emergency supplies to the victims of an earthquake in Nicaragua, but the plane was overloaded and crashed into the Atlantic Ocean. There were no survivors. My father broke the news to me as gently as he could. He couldn't bring himself to say the words crash or killed. So instead, he told me, Mr. Clemente's plane had some problems, and they weren't able to make a successful landing. Consequently, I got it into my head that the plane never came down, that they just had to keep circling the world, forever unable to land. In fact, to this day, whenever I see a plane up in the sky, I say to myself, maybe that's the one Roberto Clemente is on. I use a similar form of denial to deal with the loss of my grandmother. She passed away years ago, but I still see her at bus stops all over town. She wore white polyester slacks, a red-knitted sweater, and horn-rimmed glasses with little multicolored rhinestones, so she looked like a million other old ladies you always see waiting for the bus. When I drive by these women, I never look too closely, because if I did, I'd see that it wasn't really her. I just keep moving, and I say, Hey, Ida, what's cooking? Doing a little shopping, huh? Well, see you around. I know it's a silly way to cope, that I might as well believe she's up there on that plane with Roberto Clemente. Sometimes I can see them sitting next to each other up there. I can see his big brown hand holding onto her frail white hand because she's so nervous. I don't care much for flying, she tells him. I hate the takeoffs. I know, he says. I hate the landings.